Okay, let's work with selections in Transcat. Transcat 5.0. Let's open a uh, network. Network. Let's open a link network. DBD. Let's just make the lines a little bit thicker to make it easier to see. Okay, to make selections that are several ways. It can they can be done in several ways. First thing that you have to know is this guy here, the selection manager. To open this screen, you can press F9, go to Tools, Selection. When you press here, you have a list of selections. In this case, when you open a uh, layer, you only have one that is called Selection, and it's empty. And this one you cannot drop, it's uh, a default selection. But you can add as many selections as you want. Let's add a selection, we can rename, let's call it my first selection and we can say a new, a new uh, formatting and we're just seeing a very nice picture of my daughter that is in a pink dress by me so I'm gonna choose pink and I'm gonna use a dashed line just to show that we can use a different style Okay. Okay. So in my first selection, we can choose and let's say let's pick all the items we want. We want this, 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 and this link. We can also choose using this selection where you click and hold the mouse, just open. You see that let's do this test here. I'm gonna click and open really small and I select this whole link. Why it happened? Because if we go to Edit Preferences, we're gonna see here in the tab map that we are gonna select features that are touching our selection area. Not let's choose and close now. Press OK and do the same test here. Nothing selected, right? When I do this, then it's selected because that link wasn't closed. So I can also. It's all, all of this is all also valid by select by a shape where I can click. Double click to finish. Only selected this link that was the only one enclosed in the area. I can select by location by clicking here on this button or coming to selection, select by condition. And let's say ID bigger than 20 and I'm gonna put in a selection called bigger than 20. Press OK. There are the blue links. Some were already selected in pink, some are not. And if I want to format the selection bigger by 20, I can come here and say it has to be let's say green and apply. Okay, so uh, if we want to drop a selection, we can come here, clear the selection, or let's say I want all these, uh, all the th these links that are bigger than 20 uh, invisible. I can click on status twice, it's going to be invisible. All those links are gone. It, we're not deleting, we're just making them invisible. Or we can just put them inactive. So it's like this uh, selection didn't exist. Other thing that we can do with the selections is combine these selections. We can combine selections. For example, I want a selection that are in either. First selection, my first selection bigger than 20. So let's call the selection either. These are the links. Let's make another one. Copy or selection in both. Both. Okay, these are the links that are in both selections. We can select by location. For example, all the links, if we had the layer for uh, TAZs here, for example, we can could select all the links that are 
and TAZ1 or TAZ2, TAZ3, whatever the TAZ you want. Okay, and remember, we can always come here and delete the selections, make them invisible, format them, put labels only on them, and, for example, labels on them, and this sort of thing. Okay, the last thing, important thing to know about selection is that we can come in the data view by clicking here and selecting links just by clicking on them. When you click a selection, you see that all these links are in red. Links are getting red as I click on them, right? All these links became red as soon as I click, if I click, you can see the red appearing and disappearing on my screen by clicking on the link, right? So, and the rules here are valid as well. All the, the other rules are valid. Let's clear the selection. And that's it, it that we need to know about selections to perform our project.